please subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. Hi all. In today's session, we shall discuss about computer hardware and software. In this session, we will cover the uses of computer, computer hardware and software, advantages of computers and its disadvantages. Computers are used for various purposes like storing information, performing calculations, playing music for gaming application, painting, watching movies, watching cartoons, search for information on internet, chatting with friends and family, maybe video chat or audio chat. Along with that, computers are widely used in several places such as railway stations, libraries, banks, supermarkets, airports and hospitals. In railway stations, computers are used to book tickets and storing information such as arrival and departure time of trains, number of seats, etc. When it comes to a library, it is used to store the information of books and the library user data. What about banks? In banks, computers are used to store information such as customer details, account transactions and for performing calculations. What about supermarkets? In supermarkets, computers are used to keep an account of stocks, inventory and to generate bills. For booking tickets and storing flight information such as arrival and departure times, number of seats, etc. For that, we use computers in airports. In hospitals, we use computers for storing information about patients, preparation of reports and medical history. Next, we shall discuss about the computer hardware and software. We know that a computer is made up of different parts of components that work together to form a computer system. The two basic components of a computer system are software and hardware. Let's see what a hardware is. Hardware is the parts of a computer that we can touch and feel. Some parts of the computer such as CPU are enclosed in a box called CPU cabinet. CPU stands for central processing unit. Some other parts of the computer such as monitor, keyboard, mouse, speakers and printers are visible as they are located outside the computer case. The hardware devices of computer are again classified into four as input devices, output devices, CPU and storage devices. The input devices allows us to send information to a computer. The output devices allow us to receive information from the computer. Output may be printouts from a printer, sound from the speakers or images on the monitor or projector. Let's have a closer look on input devices. We can tell the computer what to do with the help of a keyboard and a mouse. The parts that allow us to give input to the computer are called input devices. A few examples of input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, web camera, etc. A keyboard has many buttons on it called keys. We use the keyboard to type and give instruction to the computer. Next is mouse. A mouse is used to point at and select an item displayed on the monitor. The third most commonly used input device is microphone. It is used to record our voice into the computer. Next is scanner. When we, when we place a paper with text or pictures inside a scanner, it takes an exact copy of it and stores it in the computer. Web camera. A web camera is used to record or capture a picture or a video. We can also video call our friends or relatives living far off through a web camera. Next we shall have a look on Output devices. The computer uses output devices like monitor, printer, speaker and projector to give outputs. A computer monitor looks like a television screen. When we press the keys on the keyboard or move the mouse on the mouse pad, it can be seen on the monitor. Then what about printer? A printer prints out the text or images on a paper. The printing instructions will be given by a specific program that has been installed on the computer speakers i hope all of you know that uh, speakers makes sound output we are listening to music or any conversation by using speakers we can hear like uh, sounds or music on the computer through the speakers then what about projectors a projector shows videos 
images or computer data on a bigger screen so that many people can see it together. While a teacher taking class in school or college, the teachers can also use projector instead of a blackboard or whiteboard to project images or videos. All the input and output devices are connected to the CPU cabinet as shown in the figure. Let's discuss about the third component that is central processing unit CPU. CPU is neither an input nor an output device. It controls all the input and output devices connected to it. A device has to be connected to the CPU to send or receive information. The CPU takes the information given by the input devices, process it and sends the result to the output device. The CPU consists of the following three main parts. The CPU consists of central the CPU consists of control unit, arithmetic logic unit and memory unit. Control unit controls the working of all the parts of computer. It acts like the supervisor and decides if a particular instruction will go to the memory unit, the arithmetic logical unit or an output device. When it comes to arithmetic and logic unit, it does all the calculations in a computer. It performs arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and uh, other logical operations such, a, such as less than, greater than etc. The third part is memory unit. Memory unit stores the instructions given by the input devices before they are sent for processing. It also stores the result or the output before it is sent to the user. In input devices, output devices and the CPU of a computer work together to execute the instructions given to it. This is called input process output. First part is input that means the input device part. Second part is process and third part is output. The diagram of input process output cycle of a computer is shown. Next we shall discuss about storage devices. Storage devices are used to store data. We can store songs, pictures, games, movies and many more things on them. They are light and can be easily carried from one place to another. These devices allow us to store and transfer data to and from a computer quickly. These are different types of storage devices. Compact disk or CD, DVD, digital versatile disk and pen drive are common storage devices. Compact disc or CD is a flat circular piece of plastic with a shiny surface on one side. A disk drive in the computer is needed to play the CD. On the other hand DVD is also a storage device. It looks like a CD itself but it can able to store six times more, more data than a CD. For DVD also we need a disk drive, a DVD drive to play. A pen drive is a small storage device. It can be inserted to the USB port to read as well as write data to it. Next we shall discuss about software. Software is a set of instructions that tells a computer how to perform a task. We cannot touch or feel software unlike hardware. There are two types of software. First one is system software and second one is application software. System software refers to a set of programs that helps to run a computer's hardware. Thus to make the hardware work, we need to have system software in the computer. The operating system is the most important part of system software. It is the master control program that runs the computer. It also acts as a link between computer hardware and the user. Without an operating system, a computer cannot work. Examples of operating system are Windows, Ubuntu, Mac OS, Linux, etc. Second one is application software. Application software refers to those programs that allow us to do specific tasks. A computer can still work without application software. Examples of application software are MS Paint, Text Paint, MS Word, Calculator, etc. MS Paint and Text Paint are used to draw pictures. MS Word is used to type text in documents. Calculator is to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Hope you know all these uh, softwares already because that all are much common software. Now let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of a computer. When it comes to advantages, obviously computer is very fast. It can multitask. Multitask means a computer can do many tasks at the same time. It is accurate. Computer never makes mistakes provided the program is correct. 
hence it's very reliable also computer never gets tired unlike human when it comes to disadvantages it's clear that it cannot think on its own whatever program or instruction we give it will work accordingly only it cannot think other thing is though the computer can store enormous amount of data still the memory has limitations there is a specific certain amount of memory only can be stored so let's uh, recap the session what all things we have learned today computer components can be classified into two as hardware and software next is the parts of computer that we can touch and feel are called hardware of the computer hardware devices of a computer can be further classified into input devices output devices cpu and storage device the central processing unit or cpu consists of three main parts such as control unit arithmetic arithmetic and logic unit and memory unit storage devices are used to store data such as songs pictures games and movies next one is software is a set of instructions that tells a computer what task to perform final one what we have learned is there are two types of software system software and application software hope uh, you are clear with the today's discussion if you have any queries or doubts feel free to type it in the comment box i'll resolve it thanks for watching the videos please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos